he had a son, and the son came home, and he, and he said, hey, mom, I had the two girls I like. Uh, I don't know which one to like, but I like. Uh, and he's asking you for your advice. And uh, the one girl, the one girl here, the one, one, the, one, of the, one of the girls has a uh, low body count, and the other girl has a high body count. And this is your son. This is the son you love, and you want him to make sure he has a very productive and successful relationship. So he asked you for advice. Hey, mom, I met these two girls. I don't know who I like. I want to ask your opinion. Uh, which one should I take? And one of them has low potty count, and one of them has slept with every single person in town. Who, who, do, you advise your, uh, who do you advise your son to, to go with? Honestly, in the experience that I've had, I would ask him to bring both of those girls over for dinner. <laughs> I'm saying everything. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Like, no. I, I, first, first, how the first reaction would be: the girl with the high body count is a loose girl. But that's on Christianity and toxic masculinity. So instead, as a mother who already knows her own experiences, I would ask him to bring home the girls different times obviously that'd be so weird to have all three of them at the same time god um but i would have them over for dinner because i want to get to know these girls what first off why is my son dating two women that's what i want to know no he's not like, dating two women he... No, he, he met he met he met both girls and he's he's interested in both but he wants to choose which one he wants to, to yeah, date so like i just want to need to realize honey like son why are you interested in two girls? Like you need to make up your mind. Your mother raised you to be a son who makes decisions, not to be wishy-washy. But, 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 but so, he's asking. He's asking. Um, he's asking. I, I know. I, I'm telling you as a mother, okay? okay. So, mother, so as a mother, this is my child we're talking about yeah. here. I want him to bring the girls over for dinner so we can see what they're like. And also realize that I probably have a daughter going through the same thing, right? So I'm going to also talk to my daughter, who's probably considering two guys. And I would think the same thing first, right off the bat, because um, what's one man who's playing emotions with a ton of women doing with my daughter? Because best believe he better not be playing okay. emotions with her. So you see, there's they, like, it, it no, goes Bob, for both as children. But I'm saying, I'm, yeah, so I'm saying like, so you, you, you met both girls, both, like I'm saying, you met both girls and both girls, uh, they're both the same. Everything's the same. They're both loving. They, 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 all everything's the same. The only difference is one has a high body count and one has a low body then count. Then I'm going to talk to the girl with a high body count. I'm going to have a one on one conversation with her because I've done that already as a mother. I can okay. say that I've already okay. done that as a person. Well, what about the. Well, but what I'm, I'm saying in, in, in real life, you're not going to talk to these girls and, and like you could. The, the girls that we date, yeah, they're not going to. I'm just saying you, you, don't, you don't get to talk to them. He just says, "Hey, these, I met these two girls. One has no has a low okay. body count. One has a high body count. What do you What do you say? Okay. What, what do you pick? First off, I don't know what mother hasn't sat down with her sons. We're in the Bosnia community, right? What What son hasn't brought their significant other, and the family's interrogated the shit out of them? I know my mom has. I've gone to lunch with my mother with a guy I've dated and she literally sat in the middle okay. of this restaurant and said don't have sex with my daughter like I okay. mean our families okay. interrogate anybody we bring home I, I, look I, I'm just saying he, he, your son gives you two two people he wants to date and you only he, they don't, they're not, you're not going to meet them he, yeah. he's, he's, wow. he's, inter he's interested in both he's, he tells you hey, look I'm interested in both but you know one of them has a low body count and one of them has slept with everybody in town you're not gonna meet them. He but he says he likes both of them, and he asks you, "Can I then give I'm you?" Then I'm a shit. Then I'm a shit feminist. Is what it's gonna be. I, don't, I mean, what I'm are you a gonna? Shit feminist. If that's the case. I mean, what are you gonna? What are you, honestly? What are you gonna tell him to, to go to if he asks you that uh, advice to go for which girl he should go for? Uh, I'm gonna tell him to wake the fuck up and like <laughs> not just judge a girl on her body count. That's no, no, he doesn't know. He doesn't. He doesn't know. He's a. I had no. You know. I'm saying. He's like, I met these two girls. You know, one girl has a low body count. No, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell and you. And you and you know this. This other girl has slept with everybody in town. You know. You know this. But he doesn't know. But he asks you, hey, I met these two girls. I'm really interested in them. But you know this information. He doesn't. But he asks, hey, mom, which, who should I go with? You're not gonna meet them. 
who do you who do you uh, advise them to go? Hold up, hold up. How is that. it that I know right. their? How do I know their body count, but I don't know them? If I've been gossiping with all the ladies, all the aunties, all the women of the, why wouldn't I know more about them? In a gossip in the women's world, since we're talking about, you know, since I don't know the guy's mind, and apparently you know the girl's mind, but in the girl's world, we're gossiping the shit out of everybody, right? And so we're not just talking body count, we're talking personalities as well, because we gossip the hell out of everybody. I don't know okay. if you guys know that. I'm, look, I'm just saying in, in this concept of this question, like you, I feel like you're trying to like avoid the answer to the question. Like I'm just not comes, avoiding. I okay. literally told you I, I would I'm, tell them not to go. I would not, I would literally tell him to find out more. Like that would be my advice. Find out more about these women and this their damn body count. I don't I don't think that's uh, I don't think you would say that. But what I was told, you know what I'm saying, growing up was you better love that one girl just as much as you love the other girl or treat them both the same. You well, know well, you're not treat well, one the other less than the other. But that's when I was younger, you know what I'm saying? Nah, well, yeah. But I well, get what you know, because majority of the time, if somebody knew that somebody was sleeping around more than the other chick, then they would probably want the nice girl more. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just for an image, you know? Um, they wouldn't want that shame. Um, and you see that a lot, even with mothers, because, you know, they care a lot about their kids, their son. You know, um, it's just that mama's boy. You know what I'm saying? So they, want, they always want the best for him. Um, and that's just how I see it. You know, it's like, I don't want you to go with that slut. You're too good for her, son. You know what I'm saying? Um, but majority, that's just, that's just how it usually is though. You know, especially being around Islanders, you know, with the moms, you know, they're always having, they're always trying to fight with the, the girl either way, you know, um, trying to one up them, make them better, yeah. you know, and call them a slut anyways, you know, and don't want them to be with their son. Um, so and I think, I don't know if that's... Yeah, like, but and I found out that the nice girl is probably the bitchiest girl. That's my yeah. experience. And the girl that sleeps around, yeah, that's a phase. And at the end of the day, she's the most loyal girl in the pack. And she's the one that's going to do the most for the community and the one that's actually going to go back to church and the one that's going to do a ton of work. That's been my experience because that okay. was one of my best friends. She, okay. Yeah, sure, she slept around and everything, but she's the one that's there. She is consistent. Talking about consistency, she's consistently there. She's loyal to her man to a T. The nice girl, on the other hand, the one going back behind everybody's back. So yeah, I could tell my son to go for the for the nice girl, but in my experience, the nice girl's just a dragon in sheep's clothing. No, no, I'm, I'm saying they were both nice. I'm, I'm saying he's both. They're both nice. They're all interested. But he just you just know that one has a body high body and one doesn't, and he's just asking you, hey. What do you think is the best person I, I should go with? But I'll ask you, Mel Molly, on there, like same same question. If, if, you're, if you had a son, he came home, he said, "I know these two girls, uh, I like them both. Uh, what do you think, Mom?" But you know, he doesn't know that you know that one of them has a low body count, and one of them has slept with everybody in town. Like you're the mom, and he's asking you advice. Who who would you advise him to go with? This is like a very complex um yeah this is a hot topic, topic question. obviously yeah but i would definitely just be like you know i truly want to teach my children and create an environment of non-judge non-judgmental um and do a lot yeah, of learning but, and unlearning. Yeah, but he doesn't but know, he doesn't I, wouldn't, know this. I wouldn't tell him about the body count i i personally wouldn't and i feel like whoever you choose you love you love um because i feel like regardless of my opinion and what i want best for my child um every parenting style is different but what they choose i support you know, or whatever they, their decision is. I feel, yeah, I will be like, you know what, whoever you choose, you want to love. No, but he's okay. asking you, he's asking you for advice. He's like, can you advise me? Like, which one, do you, which one do you think I should go with? He wants to, he, wants, he respects your opinion. Then take them on a date. Who do you, who do you see? I, I'm not dating them. I'm not marrying. I feel like that's a very complex because this is my child's person. I don't want to be forced them to marry this person or force them. Like you choose who you love, but just know like I'm here to support. I'm not going to tell you anything to be honest. I, I will recommend you to go to your father. Go talk to your dad. Go talk to okay. your dad about that. Um, but for me, I would I wouldn't tell them. I wouldn't tell why I know that like, yeah, it is a mama's boy. There's different parenting styles, but I, I don't want them to judge women based on that kind of thing. Like go get to know no, her. No, he's and, not judging women because he doesn't know, but you know. Yeah, this. and I wouldn't want him to. He's, I, I he's asking you for him. your advice. He's asking you, hey, can you touch? Can you let me, like, mom, who well, do you think? Yeah, and then I'll ask questions and, and, you know, encourage him to go on dates and, you know, go talk to your dad about that. Make sure you're having yeah. all that safe stuff. No, he said he, he likes both. 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 
but he asking me, but he doesn't know that you know, that, but they're body yeah, But he said, like he said, oh, I like both these women, but you know, one of the one has a low and one has a high. Like, what would you advise him? He's asking, hey mom, who do you think I should go with? He's asking you for advice to pick one. What would you say? Pick whoever the hell makes you happy. That's the that's the product. <laughs> Avoiding the, the that's, not, that's an answer though. That uh, is an answer right there. I'm asking you to pick one. That's not avoiding the question. That is a severe answer. Like a guy knows who he wants to date. Y'all just said it earlier tonight. Y'all said a guy, if he knows what he wants, he's gonna go after it. Yeah, that's 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 the girl with the low body count, but you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to say. You don't want to say. You don't want to say this in public because like, you guys are gonna get shamed. But you guys are gonna get. No, I, no, I think. I think. I think. I think if you guys will keep it though. real, if you, you guys keep it real, lot, though, with a lot of mothers, you're keeping it real. You're the one that's avoiding the patriarchal thing. They will tell their son that, but they will they will say something when their son's not around. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you something. You know, once once that girl pisses you off, it'd be like, oh, she's a slut. You know what I'm saying? Like. Just a little backfire, but they will tell their son to, you know, do what makes you happy. That's something that you you really hear, though, you know, coming from a lot of mothers, though, just to make their son happy, you know, because um, they don't want to disappoint their sons. Um, and I see that. I see that a lot. So I don't, you know. Um, Sonny, what, what, what were you saying? Same question. Like you, The same predicament. Your son comes up to you. Hey, I see just two girls and uh, and dad, which, who I should go with? What do you? Man, who would you tell him to go with? Uh, it, it'll probably be a different situation if you told me that you know he had a stripper, and then <laughs> he had some other chick, you know, like a teacher, you know, because I would be like, yo, you gotta think long term, you know. I'm, I, but the whole body count thing is, uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's, uh, I don't know. Like you said, it's all personal experiences. You know what I'm saying? I can't really, yeah. You know, so it's it's that's that's a tough question. Yeah, so what, what, what I'm saying, I mean, I don't know, I don't disagree with uh with the shaming part. Like, I think I don't think we should shame people for their body count. I don't think we should think they have less value or the disrespect if I have a high body count. All I'm saying is when it comes to mate selection for both men and women, we see it differently. So for a lot of guys, for, for majority of guys, when they see a girl, a girl that has a high body count, it's not, it's not, that doesn't mean he, he's going to treat her better. This was, I know I have a lot of group, I have, I have a lot of friends myself that have high body counts. But I respect them, value them just as equal. But I'm just saying is when it comes to the dating market and the, dif and the gender differences between how men and women, the way they see uh, relationships and the way we attract to each other, which is very different based on our biology. For you guys, like guess both of you guys said that it didn't matter to you. And both me and him said it does matter to us. So it's not about uh, that we develop, we just we just have different differences in how we see things, especially when it comes. Um, like you guys mentioned before, you guys are wanting to date up. You guys want a guy that that had the grows, want a guy that uh, give you that stability. For guys, we we are comfortable dating down. So we have different we have gender differences in what we're attracted to, and um, I think uh, like I said, uh, when it comes to body count, that's that's the confusion. A lot of women say, um, "Oh, if I if I can do it, you should do it." But the thing is, that's what gender differences are. There's, there's reality is there's, there's double standards. It's, it's just how, just how, how, how it is because we're different. So, uh, but a lot of, I've talked to a lot of women. They was, they would tell me in public they would say the same things that you guys said, but in private, they told me, you know what? I couldn't say that in public. I didn't want to say that in public in front of everybody. I didn't want that backlash. But in private, when I talked to these women. They would say a lot of them would say they probably, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know uh, say who who they were, but they would say if it came to their kids, they would definitely. These are women, these are not men. These are women themselves. They would say they would advise their own son to go with a girl that has a less body count, but they wouldn't say. Well, that I will body. publicly say and privately say to all you people, it is the 21st motherfucking century. A lot of us have moved forward with our mindset. And we will want to get to know the person. And that's where we are, publicly and privately, if you ask me. And the reason being, because many of us have been there. We've had the friends who are the hoes. We've had the friends who have the high body count. And they're our best friends. 
And, like, or am I going to go back and be like, oh, my God, my best friend's a hoe? No, I'm not going to do that to her. And also, like, we, again, we would be bad feminists for doing that. And I know in the Polynesian community, feminists are such a bad thing. Like, we don't want the women to move forward. God bless BMA, who's now becoming the first woman PM in Samoa, is being blocked right now. So, I mean, like, we've got to talk about men and women teaming up together and actually moving forward because that's what our ancestors did. And then the missionaries came and fucking colonized some of our islands, and then we decided to go against each other, and we have all these gender roles. We were teammates back in the day, and I don't know where we got construed, colonization, but we, like, our people fucked all the time. Like, yeah. instead of church, we were having orgies. Like, let's be real. So, like, no, we're not going to do that now. But, like, let's stop but, the colonizer mindset. I want to, I want to, I, wanna, I do want to ask you this because I do, I think it's unhealthy to have a high body count. I, obviously, I don't have one. I'm a fucking No, 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 but no, 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 no. What, what I'm saying is <laughs> for, for, for a lot of women would would say, you know, doesn't, a body count shouldn't matter. <laughs> Right, that's why a lot of women are saying body count doesn't matter. It shouldn't look at a woman in a, in a certain way um, if she has a high body count. But let me ask you guys. For me, let me ask you guys honestly. Like, is it healthy to for for? I don't, I don't, I don't even believe in men should have a uh, have a high body count as well. I think that if you if you have a high body count, you, you're more likely to meet certain people. Um, for the wrong energy, the wrong, the wrong types of people into your life because you're just going, we just willing to bounce from all these types of people. So, I think that when when people have high high body counts, you're more likely to run to very toxic people. You're just going out there and giving it to everybody. You're more likely to get an STD. You're more likely to run to toxic people. That's why it's, it's important to know your worth and value and be selective of who you bring into your life because when you have sex with somebody, whatever problems they have in their life and their toxic energy, they also bring that into your life because you choose to be with that. With that person, and they, and you welcome that to you should be very selective of who you bring. Yeah, I think, I think that's why, like me, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. You know, I had a disconnect from a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, in general, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I had a high, I have a high body count. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I'm 30 years old. You know, I went through my phases as well. Um, you know, uh, through high school and stuff like that. But you know, like you mentioned, you know, experiences. You know, yeah. you go through. You have a, a different mindset. Um, you know, so uh, you, you definitely have to disconnect and then, you know, um, but also there's a there's a lot of meaning once you once you start learning that there's meaning between the connection. You know what I'm saying? As you guys being virgins. That's awesome. You know, uh, it's probably a challenge, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> I'm just saying that's pretty dope. You know, 30 uh, year old virgins or 40 year old virgins. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you were doing no. great. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm 28. Calm down. Jesus. No, but yeah, no, that's that's just honest truth, though. It's just uh the meanings behind everything, you know. Um that's some people lose that value because they were never taught that. That's what I'm saying. Uh, they were never guided, you know, uh behind the meaning of having sexual intercourse and stuff like that, or marriage, it was never shown to them, you know? Um, and a lot of people live like that, you know? Like for me, I, I moved out of my house when I was 15, you know? So I didn't I didn't really know what, what marriage looked like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because a lot of the people, they weren't married, they were just together. You know, like you said, they were just comfortable with being each other. But is that is that real love, you know what I'm saying? Uh, is that what love looks like to one? um or is it you know old people dancing on a dance floor when you're at a wedding and stuff like that enjoying just the moments you know what i'm saying is that is that what love looks like to you um so but it's just different everybody experienced something different yeah. different views on different times you know um so i mean that's the only thing i see it is like i don't i know and just talk about femininity but I, I feel like a lot of the modern feminists are encouraging men and women and women to go out there and just have as much sexual partners as, as uh, you want, and it's, it's okay. And uh, I feel and like- I'm uh, doing feminism wrong because I have zero. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. And then for me, I think that's a wrong message to send. Uh, you know, I'm, I, all I'm saying is if somebody has a high body count, it's not, I, I, we shouldn't shame him and we, don't, we shouldn't shame him and 
and disrespect them. Uh, but I'm just saying is, uh, but we should we shouldn't be encouraging the people to go out there. Like my son or my daughter came to me and like, hey, I want to go to sleep with all these guys and girls. Or like I would actually step in and say, hey, hey, like, and say something. I'm not gonna be like, oh no, you know, it's it's that's the culture today. You know, be free and be expressive and go out there. And no, I wouldn't say that. I would tell them, oh, there there will be a lot of issues that comes with choosing to allow all these types of people to come into your life, especially when it comes to sex. So that's why I'm very confident to say that it does matter. And not only in the context of a, of a man, just because that's how we feel as men, but in the context of life in general. Like it's not, it's, it's, just, it's just, you're gonna put yourself in a hard life if you choose to go out and have high, uh, a large amount of sexual partners. If that's why you choose, that's fine. I don't, that's your choice, but there's gonna be a lot of hardships you're gonna go through because you're, you're gonna, that's, you're inviting a lot of people into your life. And a lot of those people is gonna be a lot of toxic and the wrong people. 